Say this for Muammar Gaddafi, he has become a master of escape. Today, Libyan rebels surrounded one of his strongholds about 90 miles southeast of Tripoli, but the dictator had already moved on. Our man in Libya, Barry Peterson, looks at how Gaddafi manages to elude rebel fighters time after time. The hunt started August 23rd, his Tripoli compound taken, but Gaddafi gone. Two days later, he reportedly showed up south of the city during a firefight at a military base, then further south towards Bani Walid, where rebels today say he slipped away again. Where would they have gone? Where do you think? To Sabha, where do you think? To the south. American-educated Hisham Buhajar is a rebel who heads the hunt for Gaddafi. Gaddafi is an expert on how to hide. <laughs> Like, like Osama bin Laden, by not using telephones, by not using computers. Tonight he's believed to be in the southern city of Sabha, where he has supporters, or at the border with Niger or Algeria. I bet you he's scared. I mean, okay, if you have uh, 10,000 people looking for you, you are scared, and, and the whole world is looking for him. He has left behind more than a legacy of tyranny. Here is a legacy of war stockpiles of Scud missiles and landmines strewn across Libya. These two boys found a stash of grenades at their school and triggered one. 12-year-old Abdul's leg was shredded in the explosion, but doctors were able to save him. His friend Wadir's hand was blown off and the skin stripped off his face and abdomen. It was too much. The seven-year-old died on the table. The children, he's died. Why did that? Happen? I can't say anything. This picture took it above me. Look, look, look. Libyans might consider this adding this to the list of Gaddafi's crimes. A child killed because this ammunition was just left strewn about. If so, it'll be one of the many litany of charges they'll hold against Gaddafi if and when they catch him. Barry Peterson, CBS News. Tripoli, Libya.